Howdy folks, this here is Zombified Hippie for Random Madness 856 on YouTube. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Instead of the custom map reviews like we usually do, this is an entire game review. And yes, I know the game we're reviewing has been reviewed, but... I figured it was time that I did it. Now the game we're reviewing, in case you didn't know, is Vindictus. And Vindictus is a hack and slash MMO made by Nexon. While originally made in Korea, it now has a North American version, which is what I'm playing right now. Now there are two servers, there's an East server and a West server. Now for starters, one of the main selling points of this game is that it is free. Yes, you heard me. Free. Now, you can buy items in-game with real money. Or, you can play through without paying a dime, which is what I have done so far, and I'm a level 57. Now, one cool thing about this game it uses Valve's source engine. Yes, that source engine. The one from such games as Half-Life 2, Team Fortress 2, Left 4 Dead, and Left 4 Dead 2, as well as Portal, which is fitting because of my title here. Right there. Now, for those of you who don't know anything about Nexon, they were the makers of Mabinogi, Maple Story, and several other MMOs. And currently, the final level cap is going to be somewhere around 200. I'm not sure on that. It's just what I've heard. Another good point is that players can choose between either East or West server which affects your uh, latency. I know the background's kind of boring here, but I just recently learned I can't record while going to different towns without massive lag. Now, the story is very interesting, and the gameplay, while repetitive at times due to needing large amounts of X EXP or experience for those of you new to MMOs to level up is quite fun. Now currently there are three different classes to choose from. One is called Alon, which is what I'm playing as now, and it's either you start out with twin swords. The other character is called Fiona, who uses a sword and a shield. I'll show you that later. The third character, or class, is Evie, and she is a mage. I'll also show you her later. Now, Some of the bad points of this game lie in maintenance. The game goes down for maintenance every week. I would say Tuesday, but it's usually at Wednesday mornings. Now, there are occasional server problems and glitches, especially after large patches, that cause the servers to need unscheduled maintenance. That can be quite a pain sometimes if you're wanting to level up on a certain day. And you'll see some random critters running around. Hello horsies! Hi! I love horses. Now the current level cap is 70, and not all content is available, so there's another bad point for you. Updates are few and far in between, 
making it easy to run out of things to do. Bugs happen every now and then, and this little token system here can be a royal pain. <laughs> because when you're trying to level up, you can see you can easily run out of tokens and you need those to board boats. But if you're not a hardcore gamer, it's no problem. Because you won't run out of tokens just normally. Another bad point is that East and West server characters cannot be transferred. So if you're making a character on the East server, you can't take it to the West server and vice versa. Now, for actual gameplay. In town, which is where we are now, you have some good parts and bad parts. There are two different towns to explore with excellent scenery. Currently I'm in the first one that you can go to. As you can see it's very well rendered. A couple of interesting things. You get dogs and chicks following you around. You can sit down in random places. Which is always fun. It's good for if you just want to sit around and chat with people on your server. Speaking of chat, it's right here. <laughs> you have separate chats for general, party, and guild. You also have whisper, which is you can whisper to a character without having anyone else hear you. There's friend chat, which is a separate window. Makes things nice. You can learn, there are several shops you can explore. I'll show you just one of those. This is a mercenary outpost. One of the most important parts to follow the story. Several NPCs to talk to. See? Of course, have fun trying to pronounce all their names. What? Okay, I've never seen that before. I'm just trying to give people advice here. Don't worry about it. People ask questions all the time. Um, got a little sidetracked there, sorry. Anyways, NPCs, like the ones we just talked to, will trade with you and they'll help you craft things. And there's also a marketplace right here, which I've never figured this out, but there is a pig that sells you stuff and you can buy stuff from other people on here here through the pig. Never understood that. There's a mailbox so you can trade items to your friends as long as you know their names. Then you have skills you can learn like cooking or weaponsmithing or armor smithing or all kinds of things. I chose cooking and weaponsmithing. That way you can craft without the help of NPCs. It's pretty nice. I like it. Now every now and then, there are bad parts too. <laughs> you get such things as missing textures. Which are rare. But it kind of takes away from the scenery, of course. The chat systems, such as guild chat and friend chat, they can glitch when you switch between characters if you have more than one. Now they are frequent gold spammers. Luckily this channel doesn't have any. But there are no blacklists in chat to block them, so that's... 
yeah. It's annoying. The marketplace and mailbox occasionally glitch, but it's rarely a big deal. And occasionally when you go into a shop, this little exit button won't allow you to exit. But it didn't do that in this case, so what happens in that case, you just re-log. It's really simple. Well, I'll show you the new town on the next video.